Hey everybody, Brad Johnson here and welcome to another episode of Brad's Vlog. Uh, it's not too much of a nice day outside so I thought I'd just go into my kitchen, have a change of scenery besides the green screen. And in this vlog I just wanted to talk about a special announcement as well as the topic of organic disclosure. So the first announcement is that starting July 15th I'm going to be holding a weekly online classroom every Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. in the UK. Uh, you can go to newearthteachings.com and you'll find the brand new Patreon website. And so New Earth Teachings Patreon is available to members and uh, the monthly membership is $20 per month. And not only will you be able to get full access every week uh, to the brand new online classroom that's hosted on Zoom meetings, but you'll also be able to uh, get access to the Akashic Records Home Study Course, Law of Attraction Unleashed, Merkaba Meditation Series, plus every member uh, will get a monthly uh, three-question email session uh, where you can send me three questions and I'll be uh, jotting down uh, your time schedule uh, to do your three-question session. Plus there's going to be some exclusive videos, media, that will be available on the website uh, upon request for people as well too. So this is, uh, again, a brand new Patreon website that I've created for New Earth Teachings uh, to do these weekly classrooms uh, every single Monday. And of course, it's uh, available in an open form style. So it's 90 minutes and uh, those who uh, register on the Patreon website will have access to the weekly classroom. The uh, recorded archive will also go on Patreon as well too, so you can uh, access it. And um, we're going to have uh, Q&A with myself, with Adronis. We're also going to have spirit light code healing as well too for people that request it uh, on the classroom as well. But we'll be tackling many different subjects, many different topics from the members, and we're going to have those 90 minutes. So again, it's kind of like a miniature private session uh, for you. Uh, people who are kind of on a shoestring budget, again, it's $20 per month, and four of those every month. So it's going to be very, really awesome. And again, there's all kinds of great perks and great benefits available. So again, if you want to check it out, just go to www.patreon.com slash newearthteachings. And you can go ahead and check it out. I'm looking forward to starting the new class here again uh, on July 15th on the Monday, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. in the UK. So that's that announcement out of the way. Topic I want to discuss today uh, through Brad's vlog is organic disclosure. Okay. Now, 2019, uh, by Adronis's terms, has been known as the year of disclosure. Okay, but again, for those of you who go back into the video that's on my YouTube channel so, uh, that's called Adronis uh, 2019, the year of disclosure, Adronis was saying don't get yourself too excited related to the idea of government issued, you know, full disclosure in that way. And here's the thing, guys, the government is really not going to do a full out disclosure to the degrees that many of us have had our own particular personal contacts, we've had connections with other extraterrestrial beings, Pleiadians, Octurians, Syrians, Andromedans, Lyrans, uh, the list goes on and on. It's never going to be like that relating to the current era, okay? Like I said, the end of this era happens in 2037. But throughout that time, between now and 2037, are there gonna be more peaks of public disclosure? Yes. They will certainly announce certain things, but there's so much that they're covering up, right? We've, you know, for those of us who have really done our research, we've looked into thousands, hundreds of thousands, of millions of cases that are so uh, amazing. You know, the, the aspect of the government-based disclosure, they're hardly going to touch any of that. It's going to be like a 0.0001% of some quote-unquote declassified stuff. There'll be aspects of sightings and they'll say, yeah, you know, we have, there is a flying saucer and it's quite possibly that it's not government created or a government experiment or anything like that. And there might be somebody on board, but that's about it. That's all we're really going to tell you. 
and maybe we're looking at other stuff relating to ancient aliens or ancient extraterrestrials that once came here maybe hundreds or thousands or even millions of years ago and there's some stuff happening on exoplanets so we may have some interesting phenomena here happening within our own star system that's about the the meat <laughs> of the public disclosure that we're going to see within the next few years it's going to be extremely watered down right and so many people come to me uh, through facebook messenger through email through uh when, when i'm hosting a webcast and then saying brad you know when are we going to see public disclosure maybe we should we should hopefully get public disclosure by this time so that we can move into this next uh, available thing that will propel our, our civilization. Well, again, the important thing is for all of us to gather together who have had organic disclosure, who have had organic encounters, who have had organic sightings, because that's what makes it so exciting. When I hear other people having the incredible experiences they have, and they are able to reminisce about these incredible memories that they share about being on board ships or encountering, you know, all types of different beings, getting messages. That's exciting, right? And that's really where organic disclosure is what matters. You don't need the government to put an approved stamp on something to make it legit. What has the government really done? Do they really have your best interests in mind? Right? We've looked at this, many of us have looked at this for decades. What is it that the government's really going to do for you? Right? Do they really say, oh, you know, humanity wants this, so we're going to give humanity what they want? No, 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 no. They have always been about self-interest. They have always been about their own corruption, their own greed, their own twisted affairs. Who cares if the government has to official, officiate the idea of putting their stamp on it and saying, okay, yeah, here's public disclosure. No, because you've talked to thousands, you've talked to millions of people over the world, perhaps even billions of people over the world, and so many of them have extraterrestrial encounters. So many of them have seen sightings. So many of them have had personal contacts. What is stopping us from throwing away the aspect of any particular type of reliance upon the government? and meeting up with these hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of contactees, of experiencers, of witnesses to sightings, and being able to embellish in all of our own organic disclosure. That seems a lot more exciting to me than waiting for a twisted, corrupt, cynical, selfish, black-hearted government Say, so, oh, okay, yeah, maybe there's some stuff, but we're not going to tell you really anything, right? Why would you want to put so much faith in an organization that doesn't give a crap about you or anything relating to what they feel the people want, right? Why put so much faith on that? Why put so much faith on the idea of having official public disclosure through them? Who cares about them? throw them aside. The important thing is what we have all discovered together through organic disclosure, what we have all witnessed, the amazing experiences, the sightings, the messages, the teachings, the education that we get through our own personal interactions with these beings, with, with everything, right? From, from beings in higher dimensions, from spirit, from God. All of this is the pure disclosure. All of this is the organic disclosure. That's what we need to focus our attention on. That's where you're really going to propel yourself. Because even if the government starts to put all this stuff out about extraterrestrials, it's going to be so watered down. It's going to be so basic. It's going to be just low base, you know, watered down, highly sanitized information that will get you nowhere. Because all it's going to do is spring up a million questions with one or two statements that they may give. Why put all of your power into that? Start reaching out to people who have had incredible experiences, incredible encounters. Look into your personal encounters, your experiences. Come together. And when all of these hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions upon millions of people come together and share their disclosure, that's the true disclosure you want. 
That's what's going to open a lot of doors relating to our civilization. That's what's going to take us to the next level. And when we do that, those particular organizations that have held all this crap back for quite some time are going to follow suit because they are seeing how hundreds of thousands and millions and perhaps even billions of people are forming this large collective pertaining to organic disclosure. Organic disclosure is far more vast. It's far more broad. It's much more extensive. It reveals a lot more than the aspect of a shady, corrupted, twisted government could ever reveal. So this would certainly be my suggestion, is start talking to others who have had these experiences, look into the knowledge and the experience and the education that you are receiving as well too, to help others who have had these experiences and start data collecting on an organic level. And that's what's going to bring about the true, full disclosure the people will be the ones that bring about a full disclosure. If you want the government to do it, guess what you're going to get? A watered-down partial disclosure. Okay? They are not going to give you full disclosure. I can guarantee you that. Okay? They're not going to do that. As much as we would love to think that they can do that, why would they care what people think? Have they ever cared what people think? Have they ever cared in thinking that people's opinions, perspectives matter? They have never felt that. So why do you think they're going to give you exactly what you want, right? This becomes that state of ignorance. Get past that and come into organic disclosure. Talk to people who have had these experiences, who have profound experiences. Look into how you can also connect in your own way with personal disclosure as well. It's not difficult, right? It is very possible for you to go out and have your own personal sighting whether it's a ship that you see in the sky, whether it's you going within and connecting with other extraterrestrials, other higher dimensional beings, with spirit, with God, with whatever it may be, that you feel a deep connection with. You don't need the government. You don't need to concern yourselves with the idea of government-issued public disclosure because it's a joke. It's garbage. And I can pretty much guarantee for the up to the end of this era, moving up into 2037, the government will in no way create a full-out disclosure. They won't. When we move into the new era, into the new age, into 2038, yes, there will certainly be uh, powerful contacts taking place as we step into the next era, into the new age, into that particular way. Uh, post-2038, <clears throat> or I should say, beginning of 2038, post-2037. Then there's going to be a lot of uh, things happening. There's going to be a lot of extraterrestrial opportunity. But up until that time, no, the government's going to keep their, their lips tightly sealed. It's going to be very partial. It's going to just give little hints here and there. But it's just going to cause a lot of people to get upset because they have their hopes set high thinking, come on, President of the United States or President of Russia or all these other nations start spilling the beans. No, we don't have to. We're just going to give you little bits of watered-down information, just as we have with everything else, and you can sit there and like it. <laughs> and that's, that's going to be the extent of what they're going to share. Okay, so like I said, if you guys really want to go full out, to really have powerful, full disclosure, it needs to be handled publicly. It needs to be organic. It needs to be open. It needs to be community-based. That's the full disclosure. And really, when we're looking at that, that's already happened. That's happened for quite some time. We just need to come together and work together and educate each other, listening to each other's experiences. That's the full disclosure. The full disclosure is organic. It's not government issued. It's not the government approved stamp. Throw that away. Leave them behind. Let them deal with their own selfish crap. Right? That's exactly what the government wants to do is basically feel that they have all the power and you need to focus upon them. They don't have any power at all other than the power that you give them. So throw them aside. Forget them. Leave them aside. If they're not willing to come with us for this great public unveiling of disclosure on an organic level, they stay behind with what they create. Let's create something amazing organically. Let's have public fallout organic disclosure, by coming together, by unifying, by working together as a big team, as a big group, 
and sharing our experiences together. And that's the full education of understanding more about the universe that we exist in, but most importantly, your own personal disclosure, going in your universe and exploring the wonders that are within yourself. So thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, vlog episode, and I look forward to speaking to you again in another perspective of the now. Take care and bring full organic public disclosure to the surface. Namaste, and may it be well with you. Goodbye.